the Monmouth baseball program, fresh off a three-game series sweep to begin Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference play over Marist, returns home again this weekend when they host the Niagara Purple Eagles right here at Monmouth. Doubleheader Saturday, single game Sunday. But before we get to that, I was able to catch up with starting pitchers Andrew McGee and Chris McKenna got their thoughts on the series against the Red Foxes as well as the upcoming series with the Purple Eagles. Andrew, let's first, before we look at this coming weekend, let's talk about last weekend. You've had a really strong season up to this point. It continued with that nice shutout win against Maris. Talk about that performance this past weekend. Um, you know, this weekend I also want to come out and play my game, throw a lot of strikes. Uh, the pitching staff did a good job. We didn't walk anyone the whole weekend, which is a pretty incredible feat. And uh, that's just what you got to do when you're in the MAC. You just got to throw strikes, let them put the balls in play, and you know the guys are going to defend behind you. So go get some outs. And this being Mammoth's first go around in MAC play, you get that nice three game sweep of the Red Foxes to begin MAC play. But coming into things, what has coach told you? What have you guys kind of been expecting knowing this is your first year in the new conference? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a different setup. We're only playing three games on the weekend, so pitching is going to be a little like uh, stricter. Not as many guys are going to get into the game, but um, you know you're going to be facing guys who you've never faced before. So you got that kind of advantage. They don't really know what to expect. They just have the scouting reports, which is always fun because uh, you can just pitch to your strengths and they, they don't really know what's coming. So that's just what we've been sticking to, and it's been working well so far. And you personally, how, how has it been adjusting? Obviously, one start under your belt in the league. What is your expectations entering this new conference? Uh, well, since I'm the first pitcher of the weekend, you know, I just come out, I want to set the tone, have a good game, and kind of just give guys um, an example of what to do to be successful on the weekend. Speak about the, the players behind you. Your defense has been very good this season. They were really good against Maris. They didn't commit an error all weekend. You've got those veterans up the middle you've got players all over the place that is that have played for this program let's talk about that yeah you know you got Gronsky and Gaida two seniors they've been playing for four years so there's a lot of chemistry up there and you know what you're going to get we got Danny Avella back who's a fifth year senior so there's a lot of uh, veteran uh, leadership in that in the infield Robbie's at third and he's a sophomore guy but you wouldn't know that from the type of leadership and energy he brings so there's always a lot of energy and you kind of just know what you're going to get out of them so you just kind of pitch to what they can do Last question, this coming weekend, you return home again, another MAC series. This time you bring in Niagara. You will have, it's the second time, Monmouth will see a MAC opponent. Good that you get him here at home. Talk about your expectations for the upcoming series. Uh, you know, we want to come out and, you know, hopefully sweep them, if not win the series. Every team we play this year, they're going to they're gonna want to beat us. You know, first time in the conference and we were picked number two. So there's a kind of a chip on the shoulder for the rest of the conference to come out and beat us, and we're going to get everyone's best shot. So we got to come out, play our game, and get some wins. I appreciate a few minutes. Good luck this weekend against the Purple Eagles. Thank you. Chris, we talked about it a little bit with your teammate Andrew before, but talk about, before we look ahead, this past series against Marist, you got the ball, that all-important third game, helped solidify the sweep. Talk about your performance against the Red Foxes this past weekend. Well, I just went out in the first inning, uh, just do what I always do, just throw strikes. Took it one inning at a time. Uh, it got a little choppy towards the fourth, fifth inning, but I got out of it, and then I could roll from there, and then we got the win. So. And how important is it, you know, as you settle into this role, Sunday starter, you know, kind of closing those series out, how important is it for you to be prepared all week through to get ready for this first go around Monmouth has in MAC play? Uh, it's uh, very important to come out, you know, same routine every week, getting into a routine. Um, and McGee goes out on Friday, sets the tone, uh, and then TJ comes out, and tries to one up McGee and then I come out the next day trying to one up McGee again. So. so do you guys have a kind of a friendly rivalry competition going on between the starting pitchers? Uh, I'd say so. I've been playing with McGee for a long time. I've always, you know, I, we all were best friends, but we root each other on, but we try to outdo each other to help the team. So. So then why don't you also talk about the dynamic where you said it. He kind of starts things off. You're kind of, if you could look at it, you're the closer of the starting pitchers, right? You're starting that last game. And just talk about you two. You, like you said, you've known each other for a while. What you two bring to the table specifically? Uh, I'd say we're pretty much, uh, we're very similar pitchers. That We go out and we throw strikes. We'll compete. Uh, we're both real competitive. And then uh, TJ is the same way. And we all just root for each other, and then we just try to do the best we can. And as we look forward to the series this coming weekend, you get the big sweep with Maris last week. Niagara coming in to Monmouth this weekend. Just talk about how important it is to keep the positive momentum moving forward in league play. Uh, well, we come out on on a Saturday, and we just got to take it one one pitch at a time. McGee comes out, 
hopefully gives us a, a good a quick game. We win and then one game at a time. I know the coaches are going to like to hear the one game at a time, and I'll ask my final question of you. You know, as you and we alluded to it earlier, as you settle into this kind of you know the closing pitcher of the starters, that last series game in conference play, it's a role that you've grown into. Talk about your development up to this point in your time in the Monmouth program and why you're ready for this now. Well, I, it wasn't always uh, nothing was ever handed to me. I you know I each year I got better and better. I've uh, earned my time and. It's just all coming together this year. I got older, a lot of ex a lot of experience, learning from the guys in front of me, and uh, just it all clicking right now. Well, Chris, I appreciate a few minutes. Good luck this weekend against Niagara. Thank you. We would like to thank both Andrew McGee and Chris McKenna for joining us as we look ahead to Monmouth's second MAC series here at home against the Niagara Purple Eagles. All three games with Niagara will be right here on GoMuHawks.com Hawk Vision, live streaming and broadcasting. It all begins Saturday at 12 noon, and then we finish things up Sunday also at 12 noon. And for that and everything Monmouth Athletics, we want you to keep it right here at GoMuHawks.com.